all right now let's look at a demo of aws iot so what are we going to do in this demo we will send soil moisture readings from our laptop or your computer to aws iot or you could send this data from a raspberry pi but currently it's out of the scope of this course so we will send data from our computer to aws iot and we'll basically send readings to aws iot and if the soil moisture is low, we will get an email stating that the soil moisture is low. So that's what we are planning to do over here using AWS IoT. So for this, I've logged in as a AWS admin and I also have a CLI setup as AWS admin. So I have my AWS CLI setup. So now let's see what we can do over here. So first of all, I'm going to look for IoT in the search box and click on IoT core. And uh, you might get a different screen and it doesn't really matter because we are going to just start with it. So first of all, in this step to allow, let's assume we are using a Raspberry Pi and not an actual computer, but we are using a computer. So in this step to allow Raspberry Pi or your development computer as a substitute simulator to perform AWS IoT operation, you create an AWS IoT policy. So what we are going to do over here is go to secure click on policies and click on create policy and let's give our policy a name. So it's like a IAM policy and basically this policy will determine what access your computer or your Raspberry Pi has. So basically the action I'm going to select IOT over here. So you'll have to start typing IOT and then the drop down will appear to so select IOT over here and the resource ARN just put star. So don't forget to put star otherwise your demo won't work effect is allow and then click on create. So basically this will create a IAM policy for like, you know, we always create an IAM policy. So my computer over here has this, will have this access. So it will be able to send data to AWS IOT. So that's basically what it is. So now the next step is I'm going to go back and then I'm going to go to manage things register a thing so what is the thing over here thing is your laptop or your raspberry pi so that is called a thing so i'm going to click on create a single thing over here and i'm going to give it a logical name and let's just say my rpr rpi my raspberry pi and i would recommend you choose the same name because later on we are going to use some urls and it will be helpful if you have the same name or you can give it give it a different name so we are going to add a thing over here right now a logical entity so i'm going to click next and then i'm going to click on create certificate over here so this will generate a public key private key and a certificate that your device will use to authenticate and send data to aws iot so i'm going to click on create certificate so what you will do over here is download all of them. So make sure where you are downloading them because we will need them. So there are four of them. So I'm going to click on download one, second, third, and for the fourth one, the root CA. So we downloaded the certificate, the public key, private key, and now we are going to download the root certificate. So I'm going to click here. So over here, it will take us to this documentation page. So then click on Amazon root CA one. So you will need this, uh, copy the contents and we will uh, utilize this later on, like pretty soon. So basically, if you go back over here, you will download these three certificates and you will also click and get this data for the certificate and then click on activate. So store it in a folder locally. We are going to utilize this four things later on. So that's done. Now click on attach a policy and then select our plant watering policy, the policy that we had created, the IAM policy. So that will be attached to this thing, which is our laptop, or just assume that it's our Raspberry Pi that is sending a moisture data to AWS IoT. So then I'm going to click on register thing. So now our thing is registered. 